Hello everyone, I'm going to provide basic instructions on how to use Closet. First, let me explain the structure of the main page of Closet. Dashboard is the first page you can see when you log into Closet. You can move to the dashboard at any time by clicking the logo on upper side of the screen. When you click the profile thumbnail on the right side of the page, you can move to My Page. This is where you can change your profile image or password. Also, you can manage your email notifications by clicking on the checkbox below. The left side of the layout is the shortcut menu. On the top of the menu, there are group icons that you have an access to. If you click the icon, it will move to each group's dashboard. The crown shape icon below indicates that I'm the admin of this group. Next, in companies, brands, workrooms, you can view the accessible spaces by the group. In style, you can see every accessible style grouped into four different filters. In recent, you can see the styles that you have viewed at least once. In all, every style that you have viewed. In mine, the styles that you have uploaded. Then shared, the styles that someone has shared with you. Next is favorite. Here's the place that you can see the styles you liked. In the rendering section, you can see and download the rendered image that was processed through the render function on the style page. Next, assortment is the place for reviewing and making decisions of multiple styles at once. It is useful for presentation and design selection. Lastly, Admin Console shows the group summary, billing history, user history, and rendering log for users' convenience. Coming back to the main dashboard of Closet. Closet provides a hierarchy system for each space and permission. There is a group which is the highest level in Closet, and under the group, there is company. Under the company, there are brand and company room. In the brand, there are line and season, and each brand can create workroom and assortment. Let's start with the companies I created. Here is a company I named Serena Apparel. The crown shape icon below indicates that I'm the admin of this company. If you are on admin of the company, you can change more details in a setting page. When you move your mouse over the icon, you will see the context menu on the right. And if you click the menu, you can access the setting page. In the setting page, you can manage the company information, category, workflow, space name, and trash. Let's click the company. You can now see the list of brands under that company and company room. In the company room, you can upload and share items commonly used across the entire brand, including an avatar, dummy, block pattern, and materials. When you look at the panel on the right side, there is a function called company members. This is the invite function. Using the invite function, you can invite a certain user to the company you created as an admin or collaborator. I'm going to invite the user named Ho Jung Ho as a brand collaborator to the company. When I type in the email, I can select a collaborator in the permission tab and send. Ho Jung Ho is now registered on the collaborator list below and it's showing pending status. Now I'm going to the mailbox of Ho Jung Ho. Here is the invitation email from Closet. When I click the accept button, a logo in window appears. When I log in, I can see the brand that I was invited to 
on the main dashboard of Closet. Then I will go back to my original Closet account. When I reload the page, I can see that Ho Jung Ha is not registered as a collaborator. Now I will go inside the Serena's collection. The next one is Line. I can turn on or off the Line functions in the company setting page. If you click on the Line, you will find Season, where you can distinguish collections such as 2021 SS and 2021 FW. When you click the Season, now you can see the Brand section. In Brand, there are workrooms and assortments belong to the brand. Let's go into the workroom I created. This is how the workroom looks inside. There are thumbnails of a lot of styles and there is a share function on the panel of the right. When I place the mouse over the style thumbnail, the checkbox appears on the left side. When I click the checkbox, a floating menu appears on the right side. Using this floating menu, I can download the selected styles, delete and copy, or move them all together. I can also download a line sheet of multiple styles all at once. Lastly, you can copy and move your style from workroom to the assortment where you can use for design selection as well as fitting conversion. When I place the mouse over the style thumbnails, a context menu appears on the upper right side. This lets us quickly access frequently used functions without getting into a style page. Now, upload a style. If you click the upload button on the upper left side, a pop-up window appears. You can choose to upload a single file, multiple files, turntable images, or blank style. I'm going to upload one style. You can drag the project file to the gray box here, or you can upload by clicking the button and selecting a project file. The style name is automatically set for the name of the file. When you click the upload button, the style will be uploaded to the workroom. Now I'm going to enter the style page from the workroom. On the left side of the style page, you can see the detailed information of the uploaded style, such as status, creators, date, and category. When you have to make changes to the uploaded style, you can do a version update on the existing page without having to create a new style by clicking the Upload button in the Style Information. If you click the button, Select File Format window appears. After selecting, you either keep the thumbnail of the style that you are updating or change the thumbnail to a new one. After the update is completed, you can check it in the version list and detail information here. You also can download the Excel tech pack and file and delete as well. Using the render button next to the version upload button, you can render the style of the various parameters. You can customize details such as colorway, image type, size, background, and quality. After setting up the details and click the render button, there will be an image showing that the rendering is being processed. You can check the status in the rendering menu on the dashboard shortcut as I mentioned earlier. When the render is completed, you will get a notification via email. When you use rendering from Closet, you can freely perform other tasks where it can be inconvenient that you can't use other software and you have to stop doing other tasks from closed software. Next function is Fit Check. 
You can check the fits of each size of the garment using fit check during product development. When you click the fit check icon next to the render button, you can either select the existing avatar or make your own avatar. If you proceed with the fit check, you can see each size and color of the garment on various avatars. In the 3D viewer, you can see the 3D style with an avatar and rendered images. You can check 3D avatars and garments in 360 degrees using 3D viewer. You can navigate the 3D window to the pan, rotate, zoom in and out for reviewing 3D files. There are main functions that can be found on the top left corner of your interactive viewer. Once selecting the first icon on the top, it allows you to enable or disable avatar appearance in 3D. By clicking the next button below, you can enable or disable garment appearance in 3D viewer. You also can change the background color of your style by clicking the color picker button. Let's go back to the 3D style window. If you would like to share any feedback or request on the garments, you can use the annotation functions on the right side of the viewer. You can share your ideas by using the comments tool, lines tool, and so on. Once you add an annotations on the 3D style window, you will be able to see the total number of annotations by clicking the button below. If you would like to simulate other colorways on the garment, you can use configurator where you can create, check, edit, or delete additional colorways in Closet. When selecting each material, you can change its color, opacity, roughness, intensity, and metalness to create a new colorway of a style. A new colorway created in Closet will be listed separately and marked with a Closet icon. Before you download the Excel Tech Pack, you can simply view the patterns and details through the 3D Tech Pack. If you click the button next to the feature bar, a drop-down will appear and you can click each pattern, fabric, and trim to preview in 3D directly. On the right bottom of the 3D Viewer section, you can activate the Embed Viewer to provide a 3D garment in 3D Viewer without closeout authentication. Next to the 3D Viewer, there are five different functions on the right side of the page to maximize communication and collaboration. The first one is Comment. When you have any feedback or ideas, you can simply leave a comment in the Create Comment section. You can edit and tag certain users in the comment. You also can search the comments by keyword and results. All comments for every version of style can be viewed if you check View All Versions. This is where you can see the annotation list for each version. All annotation lists can be downloaded as a PDF file so that you can communicate easily with others. If you add more colors to your design through Configurator, you can view the list you created for each version in the Colorway section. Attachment can be useful when you need to share feedback with a file. You can also use the OneDrive link without having to upload multiple files at the same time. Finally, this sharing feature allows you to share each style with others. You can either share a certain person through email address with the can view or can add it permission. You can also use link share to share styles with multiple users at once.